Hey YouTube, this is Jane for Zan, and I have three free app reviews for you guys today. The first application is Death Rally. Death Rally is a racing game that combines both the elements of racing and the elements of shooting all into one game. Um, when you first open up the screen, you have you have a few options. You have your options tab, game center tab, and a money tab. Next, you have your new car garage, and then you have a place you have your vi racing venues. Tapping on the new car on the new car slash garage tab, you have the options to change the color of your car, the weapons that your car can have, and then the same features as you did before. Plus, you have the ability to change cars in that same tab. Going out, you can go back into a race, and I will show you guys a race really quickly. We'll go here. Each stage features one boss. And that's sort of the person that you're trying to take down. You steer with this left button, and then you shoot with this button. Change your camera angle, and right in the middle. Alrighty. So the goal here is to get as many kills as you can, as what? Oh my! As well as getting, as well as winning the race. That's a lot to ask in a racing game, but that's sort of what the goal is here. The graphics on this game are pretty good. They're very good. They're better than this than the controls are, in my opinion. But for ninety nine cents, normally it's a decent game, I guess. I I wouldn't buy it, but it's not that bad. And that's Death Rally. The second application that I will review is the app Cart Rider Rush by Nexon. This is similar to a Mario Kart or a Sonic and Sega All-Star Racing, which is currently doing pretty well right now. This game, that's probably the only reason I'm reviewing this game, is to have some sort of competition between that. This game is absolutely free, but there are some in-app purchases that you can make just to beef it up a little bit. Um, when you open up the home screen, you have your item mode, you can play speed mode, multiplayer, garage, and a store. I'll just show you guys the speed mode. And then you have a few you have a few levels. You have three levels that you do not have to unlock, and then three levels that you do have to unlock. I'll just play we'll play here and we'll get it started. Alright, you can according to this you can play you can have Facebook rankings. That's pretty cool. Alrighty, when you open up the game, you have your left and right arrows right down on the bottom, and then you have a left and right dr drift air left and right drift arrows right above your steering arrows. Right in the middle, you have a brake button, and then right in the center of the screen, you have your nitrous button. The controls in this game are very solid, and the graphics aren't that bad. I actually like them. They're very, I don't know, they're classical. They're nice. The um. You can gain boost by drifting, and then you can, uh, on a power-up course, I guess, you would get speed and extra speed and power-up and stuff like that. Overall, this is a very good game. I'd give it a four, four, and a, four out of five, three and a half. It's a solid game. And that is Cart Rider Us by Nexon. Alrighty, the final review is the application Tiny Tower. This application is a simulation application similar to a Sims, a Wii Rule, Trait Nation, something like that, where you're in control. And the basic goal is to dominate each characteristic of life in this one tower, which would be food, service, recreation, retail, creativity, and residential for this game. Um, when you open up, when you first start it, you get, you have to build an apartment complex, like these right here, storage apartments, and people begin to live, begin to live there, and then they start to live in your building. With that, they can earn jobs, and they have different, they want, everybody wants to live a different lifestyle, so you sort of have to be accommodating to that. You have to give them jobs that they like, you have to give them, um, you can dress them, you can do all sorts of stuff. Um, you build a... You build a tower, like right now, mine's not even three-fourths of the screen, but you're just trying to build a tower as tall as you can, and that's basically the game. It's very addicting. People come in right here, you take them to their floor, 
it's very addicting and it's fun because you don't even have to be in the game to earn money, what you will in jobs, to pay for more levels and stuff like that. You go in your menus tab. You have your bitizens, which are just the people that you own. That's what they're called. Your settings, stats, Bitbook, Facebook, Game Center, stuff like that. Overall, this is a very fun game. It's very comparable to a Wii Rule or a Trait Nation, something like that. It's very fun. It's to be honest, a lot easier to gain money and stuff like that. It's not as requiring or demanding. You don't even have to be in. Well, you don't have to be involved in those very heavily either. But this is just. I think it's a lot better. I would ask you guys to please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and have a great day. Thanks for watching. For more app reviews, please click on one of the links above.